That's how we start running down. with it from now. Not to put it on no paperwork or nothing, but we start calling ourselves that. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Why I'm in the family. You one of them ones, man. Like when it come down to Kiki, you just mentioned him. You know, I think you on that new. You on that new one, ain't you? You oh, on, yeah, that, I'm on that? How you end up on that new that new album like that? You know, I talked to Kiki yesterday. Uh, you know, y'all niggas so Texas, man. Like it's been a minute since I pulled out the Cadillac. 1980 dropped the same year as Caddyshack. Like that, mm. that's probably how it happened. You niggas that real hard. And both from really from around the corner from me. You know. So what y'all saying? be. I'm Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Quiet Money Dot. Quiet Money Dot. Where did the name come from? Quiet Money is really, it started off as a clique, me and my partners, you know what I'm saying? That was before anybody rapped a word. And, uh, you know, it kind of speak for itself. We were trying to just try to get us some money and stay quiet at the same time. And uh, How'd you get, uh, get the name? Though? Why, how you just run off with the name? Oh, the, the All The Way Truth? Uh, Jam and Kiki, man. Okay. Them quiet money gangsters with their hands in the air. That's Sunny Side wow. and Sour Pork. We was raised out there. See them quiet money gangsters with their hand in the air. That's Sunny Side and Sour Pork. I was raised out there. And wow. shit, me and my partners was raised out there. So we like, oh yeah, that's live. It's thick. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we start running down. with it from now. Not to put it on no paperwork or nothing, but we start calling ourselves that. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Quiet money family. You one of them ones, man, like... When it come down to Kiki, you just mentioned him, you know. I think you on that new you on that new one, ain't you? You oh, on yeah, that, on that how you end up on that new that new album like that. You know, I talked to Kiki yesterday. Uh, you know, y'all niggas so Texas, man. Like it's been a minute since I pulled out the Cadillac. Nineteen eighty dropped the same year as Caddyshack. Like mm -hmm. that, that's probably how it happened. You niggas that real hard. And bro from really from around the corner from me, you know. So y'all been how long you been knowing? I ain't been knowing him that much, but he from around the corner from me and seen me putting in work, you know what I'm saying? And it locked like that, you know. I, I bumped into him a couple of times. I called him for a feature, you know what I'm saying? We met on that, and then, but other than that, he just seen me been putting in that work, man. How Riding much with do his music? How much do Kiki mean to Houston? If you ask me, Kiki, shit, he yeah. mean a, a shit. That's yeah, that's top tier Houston right there, baby. You asking me? But you know, I'm from like I said, I'm from. No, I don't even care nothing about that. I want to hear how you really feel because it really matter. Like you really, a, yeah. you really a student of the music, man. Oh no, nah, for sure. So like, you know, tell me, like, like, like when it come down to it, you know, Kiki. For me, I told her we came down here early on, and we hadn't even interviewed Kiki yeah. yet, and she might not remember it. But I told it was a dude on stage at a show. I said that nigga, man, he sound kind of like Key. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I said, but Key got a sound down here yeah. that really repped this whole thing, man. To me. You know what I'm saying? The too. screw music, like yeah. the, when you see here, I'm dropping that 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 drawback screw yeah. in these songs. Who you hear? The Houston sound. That's it. That's key. That's it. On every hook, every hook they bring back, y'all. Yeah, so that's there. what I'm saying. Like he really, really means something. Cause I rock with the nigga, but he really, really do his thing. Oh no, it's real. Yeah, it's real, man. I've I've been a fan. So I was about eight, nine years old. Oh, the whole screwed up click, but that Kiki, yeah, it hit a little different. And the whole screwed up click, different, man. A lot of them, we lost a lot of soldiers, man. For sure. For like sure. I hear you mention Mo uh, in the music, yeah. man. Fresh out the form, no press like Kodak. Cup in my palm, like I'm trying to bring Mo back. Like how how important is it to keep these people names? alive after they to come. To me, it's so important because them folks raised me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know them, but that music raised me. You know, I'm like, shit. That's, that shit like that I live by, man. On, on my new album, I say jamming Don't Mess With Texas was my education. Like, it just raised me. It's important to me, man. And all my partners, like, niggas be from Houston be like, man, damn, you so Houston, bro. I be like, shit, I don't know. Like, I ain't trying to keep Houston alive. I just ain't got no choice. That's how I am. You know what I'm saying? But wow. he said you're not trying to keep Houston alive, but was Houston going dead? Because Houston, I mean, sound has always been there, and do you right. think it's going anywhere? I think we need to realize what we got, and that's, that's all I do. Like, instead of rapping, like, the hottest artist like that just new... dropped in Atlanta or the hottest artist that just dropped in New York, I just stay rapping like me mm -hmm. or, or like this city, you know what I mean? And it ain't, like, on purpose. I just do me, you know yeah. what I mean? And but it's important to me. Lately, everybody been like, man, you bringing the sound back. You bringing it, you know what I'm saying? You bringing the city back. I respect it. I feel it. But it's just, it's really just me doing me. And that's the shit. If I'm going to do it, that's the only way I know how to do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's the one thing I respect about Houston because I see a lot of artists yeah. sticking to that Houston sound. Yeah. You know, I don't see Houston really. Because Houston is such a, a culture, a vibe, like, right. on its own. You can go to other cities and people adopt from other cities. But I don't ever see Houston doing that as much. We do it. That's, they do that's, it. That's why it's kind of been feeling like we've been on the low lately. But really, it, uh, we do it. But you know what I'm saying? It's 
I think everybody waking up now, man. We we got you own. because of you bringing it. I you said it. I you bring it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for sure though, like I'm trying to get that. You know, I'm trying to have that 05 steel tipping run around here, man, where everybody eat. You know what I'm saying? Off being us. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's I, my goal. Because it's important. For sure. I think a lot of times, like I said, when I think about just the Houston, cult, Houston culture, man, and the way I am, I'm the same way about PMC. I'm always trying to speak his name. I'm always, I'm a fan. Like right. you just said, right. you're a fan. Now, I didn't know him, but, I, you, you know, once you come from a fan perspective with it, man, it's just, you just really just showing love and paying homage, you know. I was there, I was buying, you know, uh, uh, them, them CDs and them yeah. cassette tapes. I bought those, you know what I'm saying? I put money, I put skin in the game, nah, you know what I'm really? saying? I was here, I remember, you know what I'm saying? So, who more right to do it than a real true fan? So, I really speak that that on Pimp a lot because of that and Bun B, you know, yeah. and, you know, a, a lot of stuff I do in Texas, Centralized around them because they repped it so much, and they—that's the thing I had against certain things. That Houston, I got a little jealous back in the day because yeah. I'm like them niggas, the soul Houston man, that they just pretty much and they big and they—it's like they the whole state really. I'm being real. Nah, this is where I felt are, because yeah. it was like. But then when Pimp came, he repped Texas and he yeah. repped that you know they had that little street short. They, they had short Texas, so I was like, man, them niggas really repping the whole. You know, they repping yeah, the whole state, thing, yeah. man. But Houston's culture was so thick. Ain't nobody riding around no swamp. Us, popping trunk, you know, this shit was really taking niggas by storm, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas really, it was a time when Houston, to me, really just took the whole, like, it, they could have took over the whole thing at one point. You remember nah, that? Sure. Now look who creeping, look who crawling, still balling in the mix. Oh, it, when, Mike, when Mike Jones and all them niggas was really, that, that right, shit yeah. was serious, bro. And it really was calculated because you had, you had, uh, what's the other one's name? Uh, you had your boy named Rick, uh, uh, Rick Shop Rick now. Shop. Uh, you know, you had all this stuff going on, man, at the same time, but Fat Pat had passed away. A lot of people say that you, you know what I'm saying, bring, matter of fact, Trill Talk, No Pill Talk, shout out, nigga, you gonna get your shout, shout out. out my boy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Trill you know, talk, Trill no Talk, No Pill Talk, talk. They, 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 he, he, he wanna always call me talking about you like that nigga reincarnation of Fat Pat the second generation. What's going on with that? How do you feel when people say that? Oh, you know, I love it. I ain't gonna lie. That shit. I, I love it. I got a I got a song shouting out the Southside Players Pier, Mike G three two and uh Fat yeah, Pat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I get a lot of comparisons to Fat Pat. It might just be the all the drink bill at the <laughs> ball fade. And you know what I'm saying? And me just talking to Southside Houston talk, man, but I, shit, I love it. I don't got a problem with it all. You know what I'm saying? I, I love this shit for real. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.